today's vlog I hope you guys are all doing so well so as you would have seen I have just completed my morning routine and have gotten ready for my day I don't really have too much on for today it's kind of like my rest day I'm not going to the gym this morning I still probably will move my body some time in the afternoon like maybe I'll go for like a bike ride a walk with Cooper just something to still move my body because you guys know I love just any type of movement during the day but in the meantime we are just resting taking things slow I had a super slow morning routine which is exactly what I needed to end my week off um, in more of a slow state and I don't really have a busy schedule today so I'm just honoring my small list of to do's today which is very rare instead of just chucking on a whole bunch of things that don't actually align with me or serve me just to be busy we all think that being busy is going to get us closer to our goal and sometimes yes that is the case like we have to be busy we have to be taking action but when it's not aligned it's actually better to rest and take the aligned rest that's needed so for the past two days or so i've been putting less on my to-do list and i've honestly been more productive and have just been mentally more creative and more there kind of thing so that is super good but I wanted to sit down and talk about my journaling routine with you my daily journaling routine a question that I get asked so often anything to do with journaling you guys are always asking questions like how I got into it why I do it um, what journals do I use where do I get my journals from anything like that so I wanted to make a full video a full vlog about journaling so whenever you guys have a question you can just refer back to this video and get all your so I'm just gonna take you off my tripod so this is my desk it is from fantastic furniture and then I just have my vision board up there so in this drawer I just have all my daily journals that I use every single day and I have this divider like organizer thing that I got from Kmart I have a few stickers some pins for my vision board some sticky notes and some pens this is the only pen I use this is my favorite pen and the only pen that I'll ever use but um, sometimes I'll use these but not really this is the go-to then these are all my journals so I pretty much shop at Kiki K or Kmart I have a few other journals that aren't from there but Kiki K and Kmart are definitely my go-to and then I write down some weekly affirmations to remind myself all week um, ones that really resonate with me and I just stick that up on my desk so I can see them every single day. I always have my salt lamp on with my crystals um, right next to me. And in here I have the current book that I'm reading, which I'm currently reading, The Barefoot Investor, to try and get better with my money. And then my moon journal and my monthly budget planner. And then this is just a magazine. Um, but yeah. So my journaling routine pretty much stays the same every single morning of the week. So I start out with practicing gratitude and setting the intention for the day, writing my to-do list, and then a journal prompt. So my gratitude journal is from I Am Happy, I Am Here. They have gorgeous journals. They also have a vision journal, which I always have wanted to get. I just have never gotten around to ordering it online. But yeah, the website is just I Am Happy, I Am Here. They have a whole bunch of different colors um, in the gratitude journal. So the questions it asks is, I wake up grateful for, today I will, and there's two night questions that say, Re reasons today was great and thought I go to bed with, which is super nice if you guys wanna do morning and night journaling. Morning gratitude practice is probably one of the best places to start when starting out your journaling journey, I guess you can say. It is super beneficial, one being that you can manifest faster because you are on the vibration of gratitude and love, which is probably the most powerful um, feeling and emotion to be on when manifesting. And also just writing down a whole list of things that you're grateful for every single morning is going to uplift your mood so much. When you're writing out a list of things that you're grateful for, I doubt you are going to be sad and and 
not positive you're obviously going to look at your life around you and go wow i am so lucky and that is instantly going to boost your mood and kind of set the day off really nicely in a positive state so that is why i love gratitude practice and have to do it every single morning and night even if it's just speaking about it to someone if you don't want to journal it down just say i am grateful for this and tell your friend tell your boyfriend anything like that my next journal i use daily is my to-do list so i actually bought this new from kmart two days ago so that'll definitely still have it if you guys are interested but I used to just write my to-do list in my normal journal but I decided to get a separate journal to write my to-do list in which is very helpful so it has a to-do list you can pop the date write your to-do list and prioritize them and also they've got a notes section over here Writing out your to-do list every single morning will help you gain so much clarity throughout the day and kind of just show you what you need to do that day and what action is needed to be taken um, to get closer towards your goal. I never used to write to-do lists and I would be like, ah, oh, it's okay, I've got a brain to remember everything I need to do that day. But trust me, it is so much better to write it down because it's so clear in front of you and you know that you won't want to waste time. So if I've got a full jam-packed to-do list, I know that I don't have time to sit on my bed and watch TikToks for six hours because I know that I've got shit to do. Whereas if it was just in my brain, I'm like, oh, there's not that much to do or it's just too cluttered in my head, I'm just gonna sit and watch TikToks for six hours, which is not ideal. Another thing that I do every single morning is set the intention for the day. I do this in my gratitude journal and I just kind of set the intention of what I want to do and I write this in past tense. And the benefit of writing this in past tense, honestly, it's still a great idea to write it in present tense and say this is what I'll get done today and this is how I'll feel. But what it does in terms of manifestations and writing it in past tense, it tells your brain that it's already happened you've already done that so it's more likely to actually happen and go the way you wish it to go throughout the day and my last journal one of my favorite journals and probably the most powerful in terms of manifestation um, it's my free writing journal so this is where I write out my journal prompts and answer them I choose my journal prompts myself depending on how I feel that morning. So just say I feel like I've got a limiting beliefs around something, I will uncover those limiting beliefs. And this is where I do all the inside work and uncovering my emotions and really get clear on what I desire, my goals, what's holding me back, all that kind of stuff. It's all in this bad boy right here. So this journal is yeah, from Kiki K. It's such a good journal. It's so pretty as well. As you guys can see, this journal has a lot of writing in it because I write like I said per journal prompt around one to three pages depending on what the journal prompt is and whenever I have limiting beliefs or fears around doing something or creating something I will release those limiting beliefs within this journal and that releases all the resistance that's holding me back to my manifestations so when you have limiting beliefs and fears you can't actually get to that manifestation because inside of you you don't think you're good enough you don't think you're worthy of it so you're never actually going to get there because there's a lot of resistance um, behind that manifestation whenever I'm feeling like unclear or yeah just very unclear on what I actually desire and what action I need to take I will release that and write it all down on paper so my brain is actually clear that will also help me manifest as well faster because I know exactly what action I need to take and where I need to go so when you're a little bit unclear clear you can't actually get to where you need to go so I, I talk way too much with my hands I'm so sorry when you're unclear you're down here because you have no idea what is actually up here so when you get clear you're already here and all you need to do is go like this and I also do a lot of scripting in here so I'll write things in past tense like I was speaking about earlier before I'll write out my perfect morning my ideal day um, what my day looks like things like that just a lot of scripting a few other journals that I use not on a daily basis but more on like a weekly and monthly basis so I have my 2020 planner funnily enough I don't use this every single day I just prefer to use Google Calendar I still write out quite a bit on this and do look at it probably weekly but it's definitely not a daily thing then I have my 2020 moon journal this is one of my favorite journals and I write in this every like big phase of the moon so the full moon new moon first quarter moon and last quarter moon and basically this journal just gives you a prompt perfect 
phase of the moon that you can write out and release anything or call in anything. I also do all my monthly intention setting in here. So I write my monthly gratitude list and anything that I want to call in that month. And the last journal I use, I do pretty much use this every single day, but it's not in my morning journaling routine. So this I carry around with me everywhere. Whenever I feel like I've got a spark of inspiration, I will write it down in this journal, any notes that I'm taking. So if I'm watching like a documentary or listening to a podcast or something like that, I will take notes because my brain capacity is like here and all the information goes in one ear and out the other and it just completely flies by. So I just like to write everything that I find interesting or something that I want to remember in this journal. So this is like my note taking journal and anytime I'm out and about and have a spark of inspiration, pop it in here, any video ideas, um, podcast planning, video planning, everything like that goes in this journal. So I do use this one quite a bit as well um, just because it is with me 24 seven. Before I go though, I really want to share with you guys three journal prompts that you can use and reuse every single week. I feel like these journal prompts or something along the lines of these journal prompts I use every single week. So the first one is what is the best case scenario for today? So this is where you write out everything once again in past tense um, and just write out what is the best case scenario today? So you leave for work, there's no traffic, you get there on time, you get a spot right out the front, you have a beautiful day at work, the customers are super nice, you don't have any dramas at work, everyone's super friendly, you come home, you make a delicious dinner, like what is the best case scenario for that day and write it out as if it's already happened. The next one is what do I desire? This is such a powerful journal prompt to get clear on what you actually want. It's so crazy how Everyone talks about goals and stuff like that, but there's so many people that don't actually know what their goal is by week two because they've completely forgot about it. So write it down and get super clear on what you need to call in to your life. The last one is what thoughts and beliefs are holding me back from my full potential? So what limiting beliefs do you have that are holding you back to where you need to be? What fears are holding you back and just anything? Is it a person that's holding you back? Is it an environment? What's holding you back to actually reach your full potential of life? From writing this out, you will really Release so much resistance that's been holding you back the entire time and you will honestly notice the biggest shift when you have released all these limiting beliefs so yeah that is my daily journaling routine so if you guys loved this video definitely let me know in the comments down below or let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up so I know that you guys actually enjoy these types of videos and learning about journaling journaling I could talk about forever so if you feel like you've got another question you want to learn more about it DM me. I'm open to talk about journaling because I love it so much and it's honestly changed my life. Looking back to who I was before journaling and who I am now, it's two completely different people. And I really put that down to like personal development, yes, but journaling in particular. I feel like journaling really got to know myself better and release old habits, release old things that I did, old beliefs that I had, old values, and bring in new ones that actually served me. So journaling, the biggest part of my life and my growth journey. So I highly recommend it. I could generally talk about it for ages. So we're just going to cut this video right now. Um, if you guys are new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Get journaling if you're watching this right now and have a sudden burst of inspiration. Just grab your journal and write everything out. There's no point waiting to journal to be like oh i'll start my journaling routine tomorrow you might as well start it right now there's no perfect time so just do it right now and you will honestly feel so much better but remember as always today is your day and you guys can make anything happen and i truly mean that because today is always your day so i love you all so much and i hope to see you in my next video bye